to go back to, to China um, and Taiwan, um, Biden is speaking with Xi today, um, perhaps even as we're taping. Um, do you think this is going to be part of the conversation, the, the nuclear aspect, and in what sense, and, and what role does Pelosi's maybe trip to Taiwan play in this? Um, you know, there are a lot of playing fields now in managing nuclear risk, and can Biden's team handle all of these different areas and all these different maneuverings? What is your sense? So let me, I mean, talk about the China-Taiwan issue, which, uh, you know, of course, the U.S., has uh, had a one China policy, which, you know, basically, uh, you know, supports peaceful unification, opposes use of military force to achieve unification, and which recognizes one China. So it so argues that Taiwan and China are one country, even though the facts on the ground, you know, don't correspond to that. I mean, increasingly Taiwan sees itself as a de facto independent country. They have their own government, their own military tax system, and more and more their own identity. But I think the Taiwanese understand that if they were to move toward independence, it would very likely provoke a Chinese attack. And the Chinese have built up their uh, naval and missile and air forces to the point where they perhaps couldn't invade Taiwan, because an amphibious operation is very demanding, but they could certainly do tremendous amount of damage to the island. Uh, so I think Taiwan, and especially under U.S. influence, is not going to declare independence, do something that would provoke a Chinese attack. And I think Xi Jinping understands the risks of attacking Taiwan, given A, the very demanding military requirements, and Putin's invasion of uh, Ukraine is actually a cautionary tale that even if you're the bigger power armed with nuclear weapons and more substantial armed forces, invasion is a very risky proposition. And secondly, the US has committed to assist Taiwan. We don't have a security assistance in the same a security pledge the same way we have with NATO, but Biden has said that uh, the U.S. would come to the assistance of Taiwan, and China has to worry about the possibility that U.S. naval and air forces would become engaged if China attacks Taiwan. So I, I think the risk of uh, China uh, attacking Taiwan is actually low, uh, as long as Taiwan doesn't provoke a war by declaring independence. And I think the U.S. has strong influence over Taiwan to prevent that from happening. <clears throat> Good, so hopefully Pelosi's trip won't stir <clears throat> much trouble. Well, there'll certainly be a lot of diplomatic and political trouble. I mean, the Chinese won't like it and they will, uh, you know, certainly make that very clear. The, the issue of concern, I and mean, remember the last time that we had a very serious tensions with China over Taiwan involved the air incident uh, where a Chinese uh, fighter pilot engaged in unsafe activities and uh, forced a US reconnaissance plane to land uh, under an emergency. And it appears as though uh, Chinese forces are carrying out similar uh, uh, reckless uh, actions uh, in the South China Sea. So I do think an incident could occur. I think both sides will want to manage that incident so it doesn't lead to a large-scale conflict. But I think we have to recognize that with the Chinese buildup, military buildup, and their increased military presence uh, in the South China Sea and East China Sea, I think there's an increased risk of an incident happening. 